Okay guys, day 5 of the national lockdown, which means tomorrow we're going to level 4, a step in the direction of easing off the lockdown, which is great news, it's a, it's a start and getting closer to our days for fishing, I hope. Thank you for everyone that subscribed and please subscribe if you haven't, it helps us. Like the videos when you find it interesting and uh, also hit that bell button if you want to be notified every time we upload a video. Guys, now today we're covering the whole yun trace. Uh, also mails we received and comments. If you guys want to see a whole yun trace and I'm going to just do a standard whole yun trace. There's many ways of going very technical on your trace, but uh, the best way is to start with a standard whole yun trace, okay? Now, in that case, I'll use 0.55 to 0.60 for my hook link, which is fluorocarbon. You can also use um, like Maxima Ultra Green, any of your monofilaments to do your hook link. Then I'll use a thinner, in this case a 0 0.50, for my sinker, and that's monofilament, the Marine uh, Maxima Ultra Green. All right. Then ball sinkers, depending your preference of sinkers, where you're fishing, what will work for you. The 5.6 combi swivel, the power swivels. All right, and again, the same as a bronze bream, the 12 millimeter floats, you can use that and that will assist you with that. The hooks I'm using is the Ring Soy 3.0. You can also use the 2.0. That's the nice size for Hull Yun. I'm gonna take one of them out so long. All right. And you're gonna tie your hook. I'm gonna tie the hook on first. Using a figure of eight. So nice and tight, remember to lubricate. I'm gonna measure this to about 45 centimeters, allowing me to do my knot. Then I'm gonna add a 12 mole float on that. And tie it. With your combi swivels, I'll just reiterate on that every time. Your big eye pointing to the top, that will go to your leader line, the big eye of the, the bigger swivel. The bottom one's for your trace, and the small swiveling swivel is for your sinker line. We'll tie that the length you want it. I want it about 30 centimeters. Okay, you can use a three-way swivel here. I just prefer the combi swivels. Okay, then toothpick, and that's to secure your float. You're gonna push it in there. You're gonna cut it off. You're gonna wedge it in with your fingernails. Let me use a scissor to wedge it in nice and hard. So minimal movement when that fish takes it. You'll see a lot of times when the first fish hits this, it will hit all the way up or it will go to the bottom. They hit it at a force. We, we feel the bite, but we don't realize how hard they hit you. And such a lovely fish to catch. Holyun, our national fish. And one of the really stronger fighters. Okay, sinker line on the smaller swiveling swivel, if I could call it that. And that's a thinner diameter than my leader and my hook snoot. But when I get stuck, it will break there. And two and a half to three times the length of your hook line, because you want it up as well for the whole yin. Form the loop, okay, of where I'm gonna put my sinker, just twice around and through. And that's the figure of eight. Flip that off, and there you have it. Now guys, again, I'm just, I've done this in a couple of previous videos, why I do a loop. Again, you're fishing between rocks. If you just tie a straight knot onto there, it hits the rocks and it snaps off. The loop helps with that, as well as interchanging your sinker to the weight you want to quickly. 
and it doesn't alter your trace after a fishing session if you put your trace away you're not cutting it off so I attach any of my rockfish traces just with a double with a loop and it forms that double line there that strengthens it up hey there's a long tag neaten it up and guys there standard Hulyun trace that's what I'll throw for a Hulyun now as I mentioned it's our national fish species a very strong fighter works in that really working water or feeds in that working water where food washes up sometimes on sandy beaches with a little bit of reef sometimes no reef and most of the time in reefy areas what we refer to as washing machine water they like the cooler temperatures and it's open season now from the first of March you can you can target uh, Hulyun uh, what I want to mention about Hulyun guys, very slow growing fish. Most of our residential reef species and rock species are very slow growing. So keep that in mind that you don't just keep for the sake of keeping. And those bigger ones, if I'm not mistaken, I think a five kilo Hulyun is probably 80 years old or something. And you can double check that, but they're very slow growing. So keep that, just consider that, keep it in mind, which means a two kilo will probably be 35, 40 years old. And that's the fish you're keeping just to eat um, sometimes you know we just need to consider if it's really worth it is it worth eating certain size fish but there's uh, size limits and bag limits make sure you have a valid fishing permit and it's all stated on there otherwise you can find it on the website as well and yeah guys enjoy the whole yun season such an awesome fish to target they're really so strong and such a nice fish to catch beautiful fish so enjoy it but fish responsible and thank you all for subscribing the guys that subscribed already please like the video if you find it in any way valuable to your fishing and uh, remember to hit that bell button to to be notified every time we upload a video thank you guys and all the best for the rest of our lockdown and i hope we can get out fishing soon